For the next three days, I'm gonna be surviving and learning from one of the world's last primitive jungle tribes, uncovering the dark secrets of their culture and traditions. All that poison is released into the animal's bloodstream. I'm gonna be experiencing their way of life. <laughs> How they forage the jungle, mm -hmm. hunt wild meat, and live off the land. And this wild adventure I, all I, starts right now. What the hell, bro? The boys just grabbed their spears and started chasing it. Oh my goodness, boys. All right, you guys can see right now, we're in this traditional boat, man, and we're making our way to the village. We've got about a two hour ride in this traditional canoe that's carved out of straight wood to get to the village. And that's where the wildness is gonna start. But out here, it is crazy, man. Look at how wild this is. We have caught a boat for the last two hours and we have ended up in the bloody jungle. Take a look at this right now. We're following this path even deeper into the jungle right now, but it is so muddy, so wet. Right now, we're actually tackling the jungle for the next three days, so I do not know what's gonna happen. I'm out of my natural habitat right now. We're literally just sinking into this thick mud. I think we got about a half an hour to 45 minute walk through this rainforest to get to the tribe. Ah. Alrighty guys, we've been hiking for about 45 minutes through the jungle right now, and I think we've just arrived at the tribe. We were introduced to the tribal hunters, Licky, Otje, and Jen and Buck, and their father, Toikot. I'm gonna show you exactly where we're staying in the jungle with this tribe right now. We got the boys right here, and this is actually the hut that we're staying in. You can see, this is the fire pit that they have. They actually keep that fuel the whole time with this big pot, and that's what they cook in mostly. Then you can see up here, these are the monkey skulls. This is what they've hunted. They've got all these bird statues, some dead birds and everything like that. Everything in this joint is pretty much made from like local trees, plants, everything like that. I'm gonna quickly take you guys and show you where we're staying. So if you walk across here, this is pretty much the way we get around. Now this is actually where we're staying, guys. This is our hut right here. <laughs> this is so primitive, man. Take a look at where we're staying. We obviously got a roof, we got a wall, and we got our bed, that's it. Like a yoga mat on the ground, that's it. We got nothing, we got no toilet, nothing. We go pretty much all around us is the bathroom, so yeah. We're gonna just be exploring this jungle for the next few days, guys, living with this primitive tribe here in remote bloody Indonesia. It is gonna be wild, so uh, let's head back up. Let's see what the boys are up to. Just up ahead are all the local boys. We're gonna start following them. We're going foraging through this rainforest. This is apparently some type of jungle fruit. Come. Okay, come in here. There's like this jungle fruit right here. What do you call this? Totonan. 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 That is so sour. Yeah, mate. Woo! Oh, it's like a lemon mixed with like a candy, like warhead or something like that. That is wild. It's literally crazy how fast these boys move. I'm trying to keep up with them, but they literally just rip through this jungle. We've just found this dead log right here. This one. This yeah. one. Thump. All right, this is what they're looking for, guys. All right, you guys can see right there, we've got a whole bunch of worms. He's still ripping into this dead old wood, and it seems like they're living, I guess, in this dead wood here. And I think we're going to use these, and we're going to eat them. How are we going to eat this, boys? Yeah, barbecue. Barbecue. barbecue water. Okay, we're going to barbecue these. This is how they're preparing these bugs. Look at that. Aye, 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 aye. He's got all the worms right there. He's putting them straight on the fire. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've never had a bloody slug skewer before. So I don't know what to expect. We've got these bugs right here that we've got from the jungle. Let's give her a shot. I've never had a bug like this before. Oh, yeah. It tastes like the earth. I don't know if I like it guys, but it's gonna be some fuel to keep us going. My mouth literally tastes like burnt wood right now. I think that's what those bugs eat, dead wood. And that's like kind of what they taste like, I'm not going to lie. We're just looking for all types of animals, fruits, bugs, everything out here that's edible. We got like a coconut tree right here. He's just got this long bit of bamboo. Just like that, we've got some fresh coconuts straight from the jungle. Thank you, boss. After foraging deep in the jungle, we headed back to the tribe to learn how to make the traditional weapons that they use for hunting. Alrighty guys, we're here right now and what we're doing is we're actually- oh. 
I don't think he's used to a foghorn Australian on camera. We're actually gonna make some poison right now. So you can see what he's doing is he's got he's all these different it. ingredients right here. He's got these leaves. He's got this bark, he's got this uh, like type of bush ginger oh. right here. And from what I understand is he's gonna put it all into one pile here. He's gonna mix it all together and then burn it and um, create some type of concoction that he's gonna be able to put onto his arrow. Once it hits the bloodstream of that animal, it's just gonna turn their lights off automatically. And you can see he's packing it now, almost into this little sack from what i got told it's been passed through generations so he was taught from his father and then he was taught from his father and that's how they know how to make it so what he's done right now guys he's compacted all those ingredients into this little ball right now and you can see he's almost squeezing it and you can see all of the juice and everything is coming out of it that juice that they use that is actually the poison that is so potent now apparently this poison right here guys is deadly enough to kill humans so yeah, if you got any of this in your cuts or anything, it will put your lights out. There's actually three different types of arrows that they use out here. So this one right here, it kind of has like a blunt end. This is what they use for birds, guys. So this one will just literally just hit it and stun it. The bird will fall and then they'll chase after it and find it. This one they actually use for monkeys because they spot the monkeys up in the tree. So they need a lightweight arrow that they can shoot high that's gonna carry a lot of force. This is the one they use for the, the pigs and the deer and everything like that. It's a heavy arrow, but it's got a sharp end and this is the one that's gonna take down your big prey. Now it's also got this point right here, which is a weak point. Now what happens is, as the arrow enters the animal, it snaps right here. And then all that poison is released into the animal's bloodstream. And it pretty much lights out from there. So you can see he's painting all the poison onto the arrows right now. He's getting them ready because uh, I think we're gonna go to war soon, baby. This is where they store all the arrows. This is where all the poison arrows are. So we've actually just applied all the poison to them. We're gonna keep them safe in here and over the next few days, hopefully we can go hunting and we can put these bad boys to the test. Getting everything prepped for dinner. I'm not gonna lie, the only thing in my stomach right now is those bloody worms or grubs that we picked out of that rotten wood. So all the boys, I think what they're doing is they're getting all the, the fire prepped and everything in the hut behind me, you can see. And I think we're gonna hook into some dinner. What's for dinner tonight, brother? Rice with chili. Rice with chili. All right, we got rice and chili for dinner tonight. Unsure of what we're gonna eat for the night, this was the last thing that we expected. This is a pretty crazy sight right now, but I just well, well, must eh? keep an open mind when all this is happening, guys. But uh, one of the elders is sick right now in the tribe, so what they do is they sacrifice the chicken and they use the blood of the animal and stuff like that and uh, say some prayers and all that type of stuff. And they believe over here that that uh, protects them and keeps them, I guess, healthy and yeah. I think he's taking the chicken into the separate spare room out the back there. Alright, so you guys can see right now what they've done is they've pretty much killed the chicken. They're going through some type of tradition right now. Luckily they did it in a pretty humane way. They just one pull broke its neck and uh, I think they're going to get a fire going right now. What's happening right now guys is they've just thrown this chicken over the fire and they've taken all the guts out. And what they do is they actually take the stomach out. You can see right here. And if the stomach is nice and clean and healthy, then that means good luck. The stomach was nice and clear, which essentially means that one of the elders here in the tribe, he's actually super sick at the moment. So they believe that because it's nice and clean and everything like that, that means that he has good fate and that he's going to recover and be healthy. So we've just gone through like a ritual of praying and um, we're all good. 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 So hopefully you feel better. I think we're going to have some dinner guys. We've done the prayer ceremony and everything like that. And uh, hopefully the old man gets better. Alrighty guys, we've just wrapped up eating that chicken that they pretty much kill for the prayer ceremony. It is time for bed for us. we got one wild day happening tomorrow. I'm going to see you guys bright and early. I'll see you then. Good morning to you guys right now. we got the two traditional hunters right now. And we're about to set chase into the jungle to go chase some bloody wild animals, that's for sure. You can see these boys, they've got their bow and arrows, they've got spears, they've got the poison darts that we made. This is going to be one of the most wild experiences I think I've ever been on in my life, guys. We're going to go hunting for monkeys, squirrels, 
deer, all types of stuff in this remote jungle. I don't know if you guys can tell, but right now I'm having some mad allergic reaction to something in this jungle. Probably those worms that we ate yesterday, but uh, yeah. Let's keep sending, we gotta go get some food. Let's go. Now, from what I've been told, guys, we have to move very, very slowly through this jungle and very quietly, because these animals, a lot of them are hiding up in the trees, the monkeys, the squirrels, and all those sorts. So, if they hear us coming, they're pretty much just gonna go for the horizon. So, we're gonna move slow through the jungle. Now, you guys can see this terrain that we're getting through right now. It is some of the most wild in the world. It is absolutely crazy out here. Now these guys, what they're doing is they're looking for trucks, they're looking for any type of animal signs that is going to give them some attention of where these animals could be that they can take down with this bow and arrow. Now obviously guys, there's not much English that's getting said between us all, so I'm just trying to understand exactly where we're going. It's the funniest thing right now guys, I've got this mad allergic reaction on my face. And Jolie back here, he's got the shits, like the legit shits. We're going to, through it, we're going through it. Have to stop every 10 minutes for this bloke, but uh, at least he doesn't look like a bloody elephant right now. This has got to be some of the most insane jungle I've ever seen in my life, guys. I'm trying to keep my voice down so that we don't spook any of the animals. But this is absolutely wild, man. I think what the boys are looking for is monkeys right now. They're looking for monkeys up in the trees. All right, so from what I'm understanding right now, guys, they have specific trees in this jungle that I guess are the trees that most of the monkeys hang around. They're the ones they keep looking at, seeing if there's any monkeys up them. That's the first time I've slipped over this morning. Not gonna be the last. We're in the thick of it now, boys. We're in the thick of it now, guys. All right, so one of the local hunters has just said that the monkeys actually passed through here about one hour ago. He can tell by all the fallen down trees and branches and everything. They passed through this area. Through here, down here. Boy, can go. Right now, guys, we've just come across a massive durian tree, and one of the local boys has decided that he wants to climb up it and get some fruit. So this tree has got to be one of the craziest things. It's literally completely straight you can see right there it's got no rivets in it he's climbing up with a machete he's making these little chops as he goes up and that's where he's putting his feet and he's making his way all the way up this tree now this tree's got to be about 20 meters 30 meters high right now you guys can see that's all the fruit that's hanging off these branches that's the durian fruit that's what they want all right he's got his fruit that he wants so now he's just making his way back down this is actually insane, bro. I don't know how the hell he's doing that. Jolie, you're up next, mate. There's no chance I'm doing that. No <laughs> chance. Bro, I don't even think I'd make it two meters up that tree, let alone buddy 25. All right, you guys can see he's collected his fruit right now. This is the durian. Yeah, durian tree. All right, you guys can see it's like a big spiky fruit right there. You eat this? Yeah. This is open busy. Okay. You guys can see it's like this white, almost like nut of a fruit. Let's try. It doesn't have that much flavor. It's almost like a melon. It's like watery. It's really nice though. All right, the boys have just stopped. We're just taking a little bit of a rest in the jungle right now. One of the local hunters needed to uh, go drop the kids off at school, AKA drop a log. Jolie's been dropping a few hundred um, the last few days, so yeah. How does it feel dropping them in these bushes? I wouldn't know. This bloke. <laughs> you feel better, brother? Good stomach. Good stomach, all right. He, he feels a lot lighter now, guys, so we're gonna keep uh, keep hunting. So this one, this one here, this is a, a oh. mango tree. Yeah, mango tree. Jungle mango. Yeah. And how, how old is this tree? This 40 years. 40 years more? Yeah, more. More? Long time. Long time. Yeah. Huh? Look how big that tree is. Woo. Can you climb this one or no? Too big? Too big. This long. Alrighty guys, we're just walking and he's just cut this uh, almost like a root. And he say it's meant to I drink. You show yeah. us. What is it, water? Water. Water. No water for the uh, bottle, for jungle, no, and the river, it take no uh, rotten for jungle, it drink. Tastes yeah. like fresh water. Fresh water? Yeah, yeah. special water. 
special water. Yeah. How nuts is that, guys? They've just found this root right here that literally has fresh water. That's like running through it, like a water bottle. Alrighty, guys, look at yeah. this. Condom. Condom. What is this? What do you call this? Yeah, condom. Condom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, show the people. Can you get? Yeah. This is what they call it, guys. They call this a, a condom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They actually collect water inside of it, though, that you can drink, but... That's hilarious. <laughs> What's this? Bracelet. Is this to make bracelet? Yeah. Right, my face is starting to come a little bit better now, guys. I literally look like freaking Harry Potter when he takes that freaking potion or whatever and he swells up to be like a jelly bean. That's what I look like this morning, but uh, I'm starting to come right. We've just gone for a hunt. You guys can see right now we have come back. Pretty unsuccessful hunt. We didn't get any meat, but we managed to get a few nice fruit and everything like that, so... We're going to just chill out here. Hopefully, we can maybe go for a hunt over the next few days or just see what happens. But oh, that was one bloody experience going through the jungle. I'm guessing you need to go to the bathroom? I'm fine. I'm sweet. Oh, this guy is lying. He'll be in the bloody bushes in two minutes. All right, so I was asking the local boys what they reckon could have, um, I guess, caused the allergic reaction to my eyes this morning. What do you think I look like this morning? Like you, eyes like this. <laughs> 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 this guy. Oh, I'm coming good now though, but I'm getting my good looks back now. We're all it's good. better now, huh? Yeah, it's getting better now. <laughs> in the morning, like shit, like... Oh. Alrighty guys, so we've got right here, this is actually the bracelet um, that he's making. And this is from the vine in the jungle that he collected. Now, he's pretty much just plaited this vine that he collected from the jungle around my wrist. And this is uh, a traditional bracelet that they make over here. Do you make this one for the woman? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. He's a player. Definitely got multiple women on dial. For the woman, yeah? Yeah, for the woman. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> right, you guys can see we've just finished up this bracelet that we collected from the jungle. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. As the sun set over the horizon, the unsuccessful hunt haunted us until all of a sudden everything changed. Wait, 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 wait. Yo, 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 yo. I don't know what's bro, happening. What the hell, bro? What's going on, man? I don't know. The what's boys going on? yelling out down here. What? They just bro. ran down the forest. Come. All right, all right, hold that, hold that, hold that. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where are they? Out of here? Yeah, just down there. Down by the, by the water. I don't know. They're just, they were just yelling out quick, quick. What the hell is going on, man? I don't know. Bro, they're falling across the river, man. What Ooh. the frick? What do you reckon it is? I don't know, man. I think that maybe they've set chase or something. I think, I think we should go down. Let's yeah. go down. Let's yeah, go. Yeah. We're trying to get to sleep, and we just heard this absolute massive commotion, and uh, we've just got woken up. Apparently, there was a wild pig that came through the campsite, so the boys just bloody grabbed their spears and started chasing it, so that's where we're going. We're actually walking through a river right now because the boys ran across this river chasing this wild pig, man. It's literally the middle of the night in the jungle. Oh, my goodness, boys. What is this? Deer, deer, deer. 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 This come through the campsite. Oh, look at this. This is a deer, guys. You're kidding. Okay, go in the house. Did you shoot it? Yeah, yeah. This is broken. All right. He shot it with the bow and arrow. You guys can see right here. Is this what he made the kill on? Yeah. This, this, this one broken. Okay. Yeah. Broken. So now in stomach. Or oh, in the stomach of yeah. the, the deer. Because, because this until here, until here is poison. Oh okay. Poison. 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 Yeah. Woo. Woo. Nice work boys. <laughs> nice work. <laughs> you guys can see they've put the arrow straight into I guess the stomach of this deer. And you can see they've put him lights out. <laughs> I just want you to keep an open mind. This is how these guys survive out here. This is just what they do. There's no grocery stores. There's no other way except for catching your own food. So we're going to go watch how they prepare this and clean it right now. Alrighty guys, what they're doing right now is they're cutting open the stomach of this animal and they're actually taking out all the guts. And that's to preserve it because if they do not do it, it won't last until tomorrow morning. You guys can see right there, that is actually the arrowhead out of the bow and arrow that's come out of the stomach. Now you guys would think that this smells bad right now, but it smells like, you can't even smell it. It's so fresh. It was literally killed like two minutes ago. So 
There's literally no scent coming off it. You can see that's where the arrow is mm. right there. And you can see. That's the arrowhead right there. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this is just what you get living out here with these indigenous tribes, man. We were asleep about 20 minutes ago. We got woken up to this absolute chaos. And now I'm carrying a deer through the middle of the forest in the middle of nowhere to start a fire and get this thing over it. You can't experience this anywhere else in the world. This is wild, man. Put it up. Put it up. I am almost, almost, I am asleep. And then, hey, come on, come on, come on. Right in. Get it. All right, you guys can see we've got this jungle deer right now on this spit roast. They're getting this massive fire going, and that is essentially to burn this outside layer of skin or fur off this animal so they can have it prepped, ready to eat tomorrow. All right, you guys can see right now, I'm making sure that this deer stays cooked over the fire. We've got the local boys over here. Getting the palms on. Ah, it's cooking, eh, brother? It's cooking. Yeah, man. It's cooking now. It's cooking. Cooking. It's Good. cooking. <laughs> Everyone go drop it. It's cooking in the comments right now because this is so wild. Alrighty, guys. They just picked up that animal. We're going to take it back to camp. I don't know what the hell's happening right now. I'm just going to follow these local lads. Let's go. Look at my feet, man. I got blood all over me from carrying that animal. Now over here guys, they were just explaining that they pretty much eat whenever they catch their meal because they don't know when they're gonna get their next meal. So you can see the local boys right here. They're just preparing all the food. Now they've got no way to keep anything cold out here. So what they're doing is they're chopping it all up and they're putting it into this pot you can see. They're making some type of soup here. He wants me, he wants me to try it. He wants me to try this right now guys. You can see. This is the liver of the animal, so I want to try it. Let's go. It's good. Very good. Man, this is just made me speechless. I don't even know what to say right now. Just eating a deer that we hunted half an hour ago with, I guess, a tribal hunter from back in the day. And uh, yeah, this is definitely a memory that I'll, I'll, I'll take to the grave, that's for sure. All right, you guys can see they've got this deer and they've just put it into this basket right now. And they've just told us that tomorrow they're gonna clean off all the excess fur and everything like that. And then they're gonna boil up the meat. And uh, I think we're gonna cool. maybe eat yeah. some more tomorrow, hey boys? Yeah, yeah. No one, this one. Okay, oh yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, he's just gonna sit there overnight, guys. He's prepped, ready to go. One of the craziest things, guys, is the fact that we actually went hunting and we got nothing. And then we ended up hunting that bloody deer when we fell asleep. Like, I cannot believe the odds of that happening right now. It is blowing my mind. We have just finished eating all the guts of that animal, guys. And uh, it's time to go back to bed, but I got no idea how the hell I'm supposed to sleep after that. But we'll probably get woken up in two minutes to go chase the bloody mongoose down the road or bloody some squirrel or monkey in the freaking forest behind us. Update, I'm getting zero sleep, man. How am I supposed to sleep after we just freaking chased a deer through the forest with a bow and arrow at 11 o'clock at night? I don't even know what the hell's happening right now. Good morning to you guys. We've just woken up in the jungle, as you guys can see, and we got a lot better weather today. We got some blue skies, but you can see the local boys right here. They're actually fixing up their arrowheads from last night's hunt. This is the deer that they shot last night. You can see it's just been hanging up in this basket. This is actually the arrow that snapped into that deer last night when they shot it. So he's fully replaced it, you can see. That's the part that actually pierces into the animal. Now all these little incisions right here, this is where they put all the poison. And from there, that actually goes into the animal. They've made like a little slit here and that breaks off once they shoot it into the animal. And then all, all this poison right here actually goes into the animal's bloodstream and will make the animal's body shut down. That's pretty much how it works, guys. It's absolutely wild that they use these traditional arrows with poison that they collect, and that's how they go hunting out here. You guys can see right now, they're pretty much cutting this animal apart. They're butchering this animal that we uh, got last night. This is gonna be our food. So from what I understand right now, guys, they've actually got this animal and they've invited a lot of people from all the differing, I guess, neighboring tribes and villages to come 
and we're all gonna enjoy this for lunch yeah. a little bit later on, so. All right, what you guys may be able to see right now is he's actually got the skull of the animal and he's actually binding it together and he's gonna hang it up in this hut right here where all the other ones are displayed. All righty guys, everyone's got prepared right now. We've got this massive feast that's happening of obviously that animal that they killed yesterday. They've cooked it, they've boiled it. All right, you guys can see there's a big chunk of meat right there that's come off the animal. I have no idea where that's come from, but let's give it a shot. Drink that way. <clears throat> that's incredibly delicious, man. This thing was literally running through the forest yesterday. The boys took it down with a bow, and that is actually really nice. We're gonna sit down and enjoy this meal. I don't wanna to do too much talking around everyone while they're kinda, of, I guess, enjoying their meal, so. I just want to say, Tell him Kasi, thank yeah. you so, so much. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much. Yeah. All right, we're going to sit down and enjoy this meal. Cheers. I cannot believe that people still exist pretty much primitively in this rainforest, surviving off what they catch and doing that every single day with no like modern technology or anything. So for the last three days, we've been living out here with this jungle tribe, collecting food, hunting our own meals and pretty much foraging from the land the fruits, the trees, learning from the tribe. And if there's anything that I've learned, it's that you don't need much in this life. These guys, they have pretty much nothing out here, guys. They got no form of technology, nothing. But they are some of the most grateful and most beautiful people on planet Earth. They pretty much have nothing except for themselves, the community and their family. And it goes to show that life's not about material objects. It's about community, it's about family, it's about relationships. And that's truly what matters in this world, man. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm taking back with me once we leave this tribe 100%, but we've done some insane things. I've learnt some insane cultures. I've slept in some insane places, eaten some cooked food, had an allergic reaction, pretty much turned into an elephant, but it has been one of the craziest experiences of my life. And uh, yeah, this is what life's about. Learning from other people, learning from traditions, and uh, yeah. It has been amazing to learn from all of these guys their traditional ways out here in the jungle. But for now, we're on to our next wild adventure. Thank you boys so much for all the wild time. Woo! We'll see you on the next one. Shee-hoo! Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.